in a recent discussion about vinegroon, uh, somebody asked if there were any other colors to be had done. And um, yes, there is one that works the same as vinegroon, and that is this stuff. Here you'll see it is given as permanganate of potash or otherwise potassium permanganate. Um, it is a sharp oxidizer and as kids we had to bath in a little bit of it. This our mothers would drop one or two crystals in the bath and it would make the bath water slightly purple. You're going to see that here. So I'm going to put just uh, those two little crystals in there. It doesn't take much. I um, will show you. So then there we go. A few drops of water. And you can see how it turns purple immediately. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> it does not make the leather purple. And I think I've got enough water there. Give it a bit of a shake. It dissolves fairly fast. Um, stir it up a bit, stir it up, stir it up. If you have it very strong, you get a very dark uh, effect. If you have it very weak, you have a lighter effect. Um, and where I'm going to publish this video in my Leather Learn blog, you will see I have photographs of a whole cover that I have made for a bound volume using this mixture. Now, okay, that should give us a start. I am going to use this on this piece of wood inlay not really, a tooled piece of wood inlay that I have on the back of this journal cover. And so I'm going to use, use this on there. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this particular one, um, I am a bit scared. The leather that I'm using is a special double shoulder that I bought that's got a slightly waxy surface. To it, so I don't think this mixture is going to spread very evenly. But with this wood texture finish that I'm working with, it will be perfect. Because I wouldn't want the wood to be totally even. It's not a piece of vinyl wood, it's a piece of wood wood. So, let's see. Yeah, it's not dying evenly, which is fine. And you can see immediately that is turning brown. That is not just the wood, ah, the, the leather showing being wet, that is immediately the um, oxidation that's taking place and so that brown there is very permanent it's a chemical stain that's happening oh, and it's really nice the effect it's having on this wood effect haha <laughs> I like that I really like that. It worked out perfectly.
and there it's done. Um, I will just show you here on the side just briefly how um, this how this works, how it's affected. This piece of leather is on this side fairly dry. Uh, as I said, and it's fairly waxy, so let's uh, see what it does. I'm going to go from one side very thick and then let the brush go dry as I go to the other side. Let me do that again and get this side darker. Now you'll see when I go on it the second time it's almost like the surface of the leather is resisting um, the liquid now once that first oxidation has taken place it is tougher to do the second and third surface coating because it's like it's water repellent almost now that surface so but there gives you a good idea of where we're going as I said the more you saturate the leather with this, the more the oxidation takes place and the darker it gets. So, let me try and do this on this piece of tooling. And we can see, my feeling is that it's going to pull in the tooling impressions and make that quite a bit darker. Let's see what happens take a few detailed photographs of this when we're done and show that on the Leather Learn blog post too. Okay, this method works super nice on the back of leather. So if you have a piece of leather that has got a smooth back, the, gra the flesh side of the leather, like this, then you can dye it all over. But I've used the, the book cover that you see on the blog post was done totally on the flesh side of a piece of leather. So here, for example, can do this sort of thing. And write my name, or my initials rather. But that's done on the flesh side. And um, that's permanent. You can use this much in the same way you use a pencil and paper because, as I said, the lighter you want it, the more you do it with a dry brush effect or with a not so strong. Uh, solution. But there it is. That easy to do. And that's permanent. That is already the stain that you see right there.